dreamstime.com audio. Hi, Praveen. Uh, my name is Pushkar. I'm a second year MTech student at IIT Kanto here in Department of Aerospace Engineering. My specialization is in aerospace propulsion. And uh, I have secured, I had secured AIR 51 in the gate exam of uh, aerospace uh, in 2021. So it's, this is all about myself. Uh, let's start with the uh, talk. So can you introduce yourself a little bit so that we can begin with it? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, so first of all, thank you for having me here and uh, thank you to IGC as well. So my name is uh, Praveen Prasad Handigol and uh, I am from Bangalore. So currently I am pursuing my uh, bachelor's degree uh, from RV College of Engineering and uh, I am doing it in the field of aerospace engineering. Uh, so I wrote uh, Gate Aerospace uh, 2023 a paper and I've secured an all India rank of 25. Yeah, that's about me. Okay, so that's great. So, uh, so uh, you told that you had secured EIR 25. So, congratulations for that, first of all. And then, yeah, thank you. how are you feeling after securing uh, EIR 25? Uh, it feels really good. Uh, so, uh, to be honest, like uh, the, the last Two three months where uh, it was kind of a, a roller coaster ride, you can say. But okay. uh, I was uh, yeah, but I feel really happy that you no, know, I was able to do it in my uh, fourth year itself. So yeah, overall I'm very happy with it. Yeah, that, that is really nice that you were able to do it in your final year itself. Great. Yeah. So, what was your motivation behind uh, this gate preparation? Can you tell the, a bit about that? Uh, so the main motivation uh, as to why I took GET was uh, because uh, you know to like get an opportunity to study at uh, uh, premier institutes like IITs and IISE. Uh, so we all know that uh, the kind of exposure that the students get in these institutes uh, is something very valuable. No, not just in terms of placements, but uh, also uh, in terms of like the projects that they do over there, the facilities that they get, and also the overall development that uh, happens uh, you know uh, happens for a student uh, at those institutes so that is something uh, very valuable i've heard a lot of people uh, who have studied in these institutes tell about that so yeah i think uh, and also uh, you do get a, you do get good opportunities like when it comes to core placements so okay. uh, th these were the main motivating factors for me to take up uh, you know get yeah okay. So you, that's nice that you uh, have decided this in uh, fourth year itself. But uh, when did you start your preparation? Yeah, uh, so I started my preparations uh, uh, after my fourth semester. So my fourth semester was about to uh, get over. It was in 2021. And uh, after my fourth semester, I took up uh, gate coaching uh, at IGC. So I'm a two year student over there. Uh, so yeah, uh, I started it uh, pretty early and uh, that has helped me in one way uh, to get uh, a good rank uh, after like, like in 2023. So yeah. So good. Uh, you mentioned uh, like uh, you started it during your after your fourth semester itself. So you enrolled in IGC, right? So okay. how did that help you from the beginning till the end? Can you briefly tell about that? Yeah, uh, so uh, talking about IGC, uh, like th they are probably, according to me, they are probably the best, uh, you know, coaching institute uh, when it comes to uh, gate aerospace. Uh, so th uh, the, uh, the faculty uh, that is there, the teachers uh, they have is uh, also like, you know, they are uh, really good teachers. They are all working professionals. Uh, most of them work in uh, core aerospace domain. And uh, sometimes they do share their uh, few experiences, not much, but yeah, the few experiences, uh, uh, which actually helps us to understand the concepts really well. So in that sense, yes, it was really good. And uh, also the support that they give, uh, 
uh, whether it, uh, you know talk whether you talk about doubt clarifications and uh, you know the online uh, mock tests that uh, we get at IGC uh, the those are uh, yeah it's pretty good and uh, the user interface is quite similar to that of the gate exam uh, so all these things uh, were really helpful uh, for me uh, I, I would really appreciate their uh, teaching because there were a few subjects which I was finding it really hard but uh, I was I was able to uh, learn those subjects especially propulsion I found it I found it really hard but uh, uh, the way uh, you know Akshay sir teach uh, teached uh, at IGC so that was really good and I was able to pick it up so yeah yeah that's uh, one of the things all I also remember that the teachers having industrial experience and their knowledge helped us to you know understand the fundamentals more in a more right. uh, succinct manner so yeah that's great and uh, the doubt classes also were excellent all around the year you could ask them yeah they so, have dedicated whatsapp groups also uh, yeah. so and uh, most of the times the students themselves answer the doubts and if uh, no one is able to answer the teachers there uh, they give you the answer so it's a, a nice uh, you know, environment for uh, learning. Yeah, it's kind of uh, a good community to learn from, like your uh, teachers as well as your peers. So yeah. So from the starting, so what kind of uh, guidance or like uh, uh, instructions or uh, guidance or teachings did you receive from IGC like uh, faculties? Uh, so right from the beginning so what i've seen is that uh, they start the subjects from scratch like even uh, if you don't know the fundamentals much uh, you can still be able to pick it up uh, so there are a few people uh, you know from mechanical and electronics background also who have taken up gate aerospace coaching and they, even they they are doing well so they started from right from scratch and uh, second thing is that uh, yeah, all the teachers are uh, from IITs and IISC, uh, so they, uh, so I think uh, they also know how to, you know, prepare for uh, exams like competitive exams like GATE. So they do give their tips uh, as to know which are the important topics you'll have to prepare for, and uh, they also know like uh, some of the resources that are available online. So for example, uh, I remember uh, in for fluid mechanics uh, our uh, teacher uh, had told us uh, to watch few NPTEL lectures for few particular topics uh, that was really helpful uh, so they know all the things which are out there and they ask us to refer a few things uh, so overall yes uh, that's why I told the teaching is really good uh, they, they just share all the information which is out there and uh, that helps us to understand the concepts yeah, and towards the end also, if we need any, if you need any support or any kind of guidance, all the teachers yeah. are there. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. So uh, you mentioned uh, you started during after your fourth semester and you continued the coaching till fourth year. So right. yeah, during this uh, period, so how did you manage uh, your studies as well as uh, preparing for GIT? Can yeah yeah so i think i mentioned earlier that last few months were kind of a roller coaster right i still remember that so uh, the one good thing was that um uh, i uh, started my preparations early uh, as i told you i started in my third year itself like as soon as my second year got over so uh, my uh my plan was uh to uh, study half of the subjects for gate 2022 and then uh, finish the entire syllabus for GATE 2023. Uh, so I just I hardly prepared uh, like for three or four subjects for in GATE 2022, especially mathematics and uh, aerodynamics, the basic fundamental subjects, whatever uh, whatever is there. So and I was actually able to clear uh, GATE 2022 also. Uh, I got a, a decent uh, GATE score of 500. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, that gave me a lot of confidence actually that okay, I, I can do it next year also now that I've covered the fundamentals and uh, yeah, be, because I started my preparations early that really helped me, uh, you know, even towards the end and the final few months were 
mostly like uh, you know pushing myself uh, like i knew that uh, you know uh, i i had to do it because otherwise i'll have to you know uh, sit for one more year and prepare for the exam so that was there uh, at the back of my mind and uh, so finally i was able to uh, i was just able to push myself and uh, you know uh, uh, yeah somehow i managed my uh, college and <laughs> college studies and uh, get preparation and i was able to secure a good rank yeah so this is a good thing that uh, gate has introduced uh, giving exam in your pre final year so that uh, yeah, it- you can at least uh, get some kind of uh, exposure early on and then give your final uh, test later so yes that that helped you a lot and uh, like i understand that uh, being uh, like uh, being from the same college it's really difficult to manage all the quizzes exams and then yeah uh, definitely <laughs> at, at the end sims you get like uh, a lot of pressure from everywhere you have to do self studies so true yeah. true so yeah nice um so my next question is so uh, in the last two months of your preparation so i guess uh, the gate exam happened in february so in the last two months from december to february uh, what what steps did you take and uh, after giving mock tests and different types of exams how did you analyze them mm, so uh, so coming to the last two months uh, of my preparation uh, i think during the month of december uh, i had covered around 70% of the syllabus you can say uh, and uh, there were few subjects uh, as i told you like uh, propulsion was one subject which was which i was finding it very hard uh, to understand so uh, so what i used to do was uh, whatever topics which i felt hard uh, i used to watch the recorded lectures which are available which uh, igc provides so uh, i just used to look at the concepts which i was feeling very hard and uh, you know immediately try to solve the problems related to that this was in the month of december and uh, now igc provides uh, you know subject wise uh, assignments and uh, uh, test series subject wise test series also so that helped me to uh, strengthen my concepts in propulsion and uh, coming to the coming in the month of january i had covered around yeah, 90% of the syllabus there were few topics like uh, you know simple topics like space dynamics and vibrations uh, which i could cover it in matter of few days so uh yeah uh in the month of january it was mostly revision and uh, analyzing mock tests so analyzing mock tests are very important uh i just used to note down all the questions which i knew and i had made a mistake in that and uh, you know try to solve it once again so that in the next mock test uh, i made sure that i made less negatives and uh, yeah that is how i was uh, i did my, that is that was my preparation strategy in the last two months so great great uh, so during this like period you would have felt a lot of pressure a lot of stress and so how did you manage it how did you keep yourself mentally strong for it uh okay uh, so i think one thing that i used to do was uh, i used to meditate for uh, uh, you know some time like uh in a day uh this uh, was also told to me by dinesh uh, he always told that uh, you know you can try out meditation uh you know it, it will give you like uh, it will give you a lot of clarity and also you know just uh, incorporating few healthy habits like avoiding junk food having uh, you know homemade food like uh, i am actually fortunate that i'm at home uh, so i try to avoid most of the junk food uh, and uh, no simple things like uh, in the month till the month of december i used to work out as well like uh, you know just simple exercises which are uh, you know which actually makes you feel really good uh, like once your body and mind uh, it feels healthy then you are able to do most of the work so all these simple things helped me in during my preparation and yeah these were the things that uh, you know kept me mentally strong as well so yeah, yeah. so it also tells everyone that you have to do some recreational activities also because you can't yeah 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 uh, so i used to listen to music sometimes 
So yeah, yeah the few things here and there, like some uh, I didn't have a lot of time, but yeah, whatever time I used to have, I used to do some other other activity. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So like being connected to IGC myself, I know that like it offers a lot of a uh, lot more than just coaching. So this helps mm. like students in taking important career related decisions. So could you share how uh, IGC specifically has helped you in your overall development as an aerospace engineer? Yeah, uh, so as an aerospace engineer, yes. Uh, first of all, being an engineer, uh, uh, the most important thing is to know your fundamentals right, uh, be it any engineering. Uh, so. Uh, one thing that I've seen in IGC, as I told earlier also, uh, was they start from fundamentals. They start from scratch. They teach you how, you know, uh, what are the concepts there and how they work. So this, and also sometimes they give an intuitive understanding. Uh, for example, uh, in my uh, first year of gate coaching, there was uh, one teacher who uh, taught us math and uh, he used to, uh, you know, make us visualize linear algebra. Uh, so that was pretty uh, new thing for me because I never imagined uh, linear algebra in terms of vectors and all that. So, yeah, so these are like, you know, basic fundamentals, which uh, probably are not taught in uh, colleges. Uh, but uh, here at IGC, they do teach you all these things because uh, that's how uh, you get the questions in gate exam or even in the you know, M-Tech interviews, you go uh, for, you know, whenever you go for M-Tech interviews at uh, these uh, institutes. So fundamentals are have to be really strong. And uh, I think uh, that is one thing which will help us to become good engineers. And uh, IGC does that. And also they give you more complex problems uh, as you develop. And uh, that, that's how uh, I think uh, IGC has really helped me to you know, understand aerospace engineering in general. And, uh, yeah, help me to make a better engineer. Yeah. yeah. So also given that a lot of teachers are connected to industries, so they can properly explain how fundamental concepts in aerospace right. engineering are connected to real world applications. Right, so, right. Yeah. So can, can you please share some tips and uh, motivation for the candidates who are uh, giving uh, their exam in GATE 2024? Yeah, um, so whatever, I think there are a few things that I would like to say to all those who are preparing for GET. Uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, first of all, uh, revision matters a lot. You need to keep on revising things, otherwise you'll just tend to forget. Because what happens is initially when you start, you can cover two, three subjects very easily and you'll be very confident that, okay, I know these two, three subjects. But when you start the next two, three subjects, you slowly start forgetting the earlier subjects that you had prepared. So constantly keep on revising. Uh, revision is important. Once you revise, practice more and more questions. And I think most important of all is to get your fundamentals right, the concepts right. And uh, if your concepts are right, uh, I think uh, you will be able to solve most of the questions uh, that you get in your gate paper. So yeah, these three things I would uh, say are like the most important and uh, it will definitely help all the gate aspirants because this is what I did in my, uh, uh, you know, when I was taking coaching from IGC. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I think uh, um, these were the questions I wanted to talk about. So congratulations once again. And uh, I wish much. you all the best in your future endeavors. So, yeah, yeah thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you, Pushka. Yeah. Thank you.